Bruins host in the Panthers game six, and the Panthers are minus 150 on the money line. The Bruins are plus 125. The over under, five and a half goals. The Panthers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Bruins getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 220, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. If they lose by one, you win. It's supposed to be Bobrovsky and Swayman. Neither goaltender has been confirmed yet for tomorrow's game. Head-to-head, -head, the Bruins are 6-4. and four. The road team is on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. and two. There have been six one-goal games in their last ten, including the last two games they've played against each other. The under is hitting their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 5.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. When the Bruins actually play defense and have solid goaltending, they're a dangerous team, but it's just like anything else. If they don't get that, it's anybody's game. Now, game one, the Bruins won 5-1, to one, then the Panthers rattled off three consecutive victories, 6-1, to 6-2, to 3-2, to two, and then the Bruins f stayed off elimination in Florida by winning 2-1. to one. I don't know if it would have been worse to get eliminated in Florida or to eliminate, get eliminated in Boston, but I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to take the Panthers with the money line. I'm going to take the Panthers laying the goals. And I just think that the Panthers are due, and they're going to explode on Swayman. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.